Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Noob Developer, your go-to channel for all things about Android development. In today's video, we are going to create an alert dialog box using Jetpack Compose in Kotlin Android Studio. But before we begin, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tips, coding hacks and behind the scenes sneak peeks, be sure to follow me on Instagram and threads. Link to my social media profiles are in the description below. Join our vibrant community and subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out any of our tech pack tutorials. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for your continued support. Let's get ready to level up. So, how are we gonna do this? Simple, we need to create a composable function which is alert dialog box. Alert dialog box, and this is going to be the composable. So, annotate it with composable. Inside this composable, I'm gonna create this alert dialog, and this alert dialog has certain parameters here on dismiss request confirmation button modify dismiss button icon title text shape container color icon container color and all of these properties and these are the details of these functions these parameters basically so on dismiss request called when the user tries to dismiss the dialog by clicking outside or pressing the back button this is not called when the dismiss button is clicked confirm button which is meant to confirm a proposed action thus resolving what triggered the dialog the dialog does not set up any events for this button so they need to be set by the caller now modify we all know about this dismiss button just to dismiss the dialog icon to show to the some icon above the title or above the text if in case of a title is not present then the text which represents some text of the, about the dialog box or the title if we, we need the title also and uh, the shape if you want to change the shape of the alert dialog box these are the things now on dismiss request so i'm gonna create some parameters uh, in this function also so on dismiss request then on confirmation and uh, dialog text dialog title dialog icon icon which is image vector okay so these five things i'm gonna i i actually i'm gonna need in this particular for this particular uh, alert dialog so let's create the alert dialog so on dismiss request just simple call this function on dismiss request after this let's have this on dismiss request then we have on confirmation on sorry confirm button and uh, we need to create a button for the confirmation so we need to create a text button here and this text button is going to have two things on click method and uh, on which click of certain things gonna happen on click of which so simply on confirmation and uh, provide the text for this button so text is going to be the confirm then uh, after the confirmation uh, we need dismiss button so dismiss button it is also going to be the same thing nothing changes so let's just copy and paste on click just on dismiss request that's it and this is dismiss after this uh, dialogue sorry title and uh, which is going to be the text dialog title and uh, text uh, so dialog text and then icon which is icon dialog icon uh, okay i can require some function so we need to provide the icon here which is icon provide the dialog icon here and that's it so yeah that's it okay now we need to call this function the alert dialog box function so how we gonna call this so for that purpose actually we uh, have two states in case of alert dialog box which is either the dialog box is open or not open okay so for that purpose we need to create a fun variable i'm gonna create is dialog open and this is gonna be remember as mutable state of true so i'm i choose this value as 
true by default why because i want to open the dialog box when i run the app exactly at that same time i don't want uh, to open the dialog on the click of something so that's why i just prefer the value as true so now when is dialog open dot value is true basically then what happen is uh, i'm gonna call this lr dialog box method and uh, in on dismiss request simply is open dialog dot value is equals to false and uh, on dismiss request on confirmation also this is the same thing so let's have this but here i also want something which is print ln confirmation and uh, then dialog text which is this is no developer youtube channel then dialog title subscribe like share dialog title dialog text dialog icon which is icons dot default dot person now if i run the app um let me run the app and see how it's gonna work and what it's gonna show us actually and uh, let's have lock cat window close everything now you can see this is our dialog box alert dialog box subscribe like share and this is the header file header mm -hmm. image actually this is no developer video channel this is the dismiss button this is the confirm button if i click on the confirm button you can okay um okay it is confirming i guess but uh, no it is not confirming let me see yeah it is not running my function why let's see alert dialog box on dismiss request the function it will return the unit here and uh, on click of text button i want on confirmation just make it this and uh, make it this and then make it this now let's run the app and see okay so that's it i guess that's it Okay, let's confirm it and you can see the dialog is gone. Let's go to the lock cat and see if you can see system dot out confirmation. Okay, so that's how basically we can we can um, set so show the dialog to the use alert dialog to the user using jetpack compose in android studio using kotlin programming language so that's it. so yeah this is it for this video if you like this video click like button i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers have questions or want to share your thoughts drop a comment below and i'll be your I will be more than happy to help. Stay connected with us on social media for the latest updates. Follow me on Instagram and threads. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button also. Ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Thank you for tuning in today. And as always, keep coding, keep exploring, keep building amazing things. See you in the next video.